Hi guys, it's Janine. It has been a while. I'm sorry about that. It's been kind of crazy hectic around here lately. Um, don't know if this will be a quick update or not, but I just want to check in and let you guys know how I'm doing and talk about some struggles I've been having and just finally make another video. <laughs> finally got on my computer. Um, today is Friday. Friday the 9th. Um, as of Wednesday this week, the 7th, that was my six weeks since surgery. Um, I've been kind of stuck. Um, not stuck in a stall, just stuck in a very odd mindset, I guess. I'm having a lot of trouble not eating things I'm not supposed to. Um, at first, I thought I was just kind of testing the boundaries, seeing what my sleep could handle. You know, can I eat this without getting sick or, you know, whatever. Now, I just kind of feel like I've lost control. Um, which I'm not happy about, and I'm trying to get it back. Um, I've been staying about the same weight for the last two weeks. Um, I think in total, I've still only lost about 27 since surgery and for s a little over six weeks out I'm kind of actually I'm really disappointed about that um I was hoping to be excuse me down more um and I've got some events coming up that I'm going to like I have um my cousin's daughter's first birthday's coming up in a couple weekends not this weekend but next weekend is uh my other cousin's bridal shower, um, and I was really hoping to be down more and, you know, fit into a cuter outfit, you know, and me since surgery. So, I'm kind of like being weighed down by all this disappointment, disappointment in myself, and I'm one of those people, like, when I start getting down on myself, it's really hard to get out of it. Like, it's hard for me to, like, turn it around and think positively, like, I'm feeling again like I've done something, you know, like I've stretched out my sleeve by eating too much or eating the wrong things and like I can't fix it now and, you know, I don't know. It's frustrating and, you know, today is a new day and I'm trying to start over with a positive attitude. Um, just gonna have an egg and some cheese for breakfast, which is a lot better than what I've been doing. Um, um, working out, I've been trying to do that more. I've been given the okay by my surgeon's office to do harder workouts, like things other than just walking. Um, so I'm going to be signing up for Zumba classes again. Hopefully I'll start that this weekend. Um, Zumba classes, I'm going to start doing the workout videos I have here at home. Um, I don't know if you can see, I've got my treadmill set up. I've been on my treadmill with, you know, my little arm weights doing that type of stuff trying to get my arms muscle back. Um, I did try fire dancing once, but I think it was a little too soon. It's not that they're heavy, just the actions that I do. I need a little bit more arm strength back, I think, before I try that again. I might try it again this coming Monday, but we'll see how that goes. Um, as far as how I've been off track with eating, um, the best way I can describe it like, I've been hanging out with a friend of mine that I haven't seen in a few years. We're, like, best friends. Everyone thinks we're sisters. Like, we've known each other since sixth grade. Like, I'm so happy to be back in contact with her again. And I love hanging out with her. Like, we have so much in common, and we're always laughing, and, you know, just whatever. What I notice, I guess, about myself is, like, the more I pay attention to other things, like friendships or hanging out or going out or watching TV with friends or watching movies or you know whatever like the less I think about what I'm eating and it's not intentional it's not like oh well I'm just gonna ignore you know the person in my head telling me to eat healthy like it's just it doesn't even come into my mind which is crazy to me and so now two weeks later since that started happening I'm like 
where did the time go and why did I, pardon my language, fuck up so much? <laughs> Um, I've had things like kettle corn from the fair. Um, I've had, like, the insides of burritos, like, which isn't terrible because I'm not eating, like, the shell or the tortilla or whatever, but I'm having burritos that have, you know, sour cream, guacamole, rice, beans, like, I'm not supposed to be eating that stuff. Um, what else have I had that's not good? Um... Thinking, 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 thinking. I'm having a hard time thinking at the moment. Um, oh, Chinese food. Um, and this was intentional. I actually had a very long conversation with my mom about this. Like, I want to say it was Sunday or Monday. Must have been Sunday. Last weekend. Um, I've been getting really bored with what I've been eating. Like, I'm getting bored with chicken. I'm... Every time I try to eat fish now, I get nauseous. I think I'm just over it. Like... I don't know. Um, shrimp makes me really sick now, I notice. No matter how I prepare it, or what sauce I have with it, or what I do to it, like, shrimp just equals me feeling nauseous for the rest of the day. So I gotta stay away from that. Um, same thing happened last time I tried to eat crab. Um, I was doing a lot of crab with avocado, like kind of imitation California roll without the rice type of thing, and now it just makes me sick to eat it. It's weird. I don't know. Um, but I, w I, so I was telling my mom, you know, I'm like, I'm really bored with what I'm eating. I don't know what to do about it. Like, I know I need to eat something, but I don't know what. And we finally came up with a solution of ordering a chicken salad that we used to get when we go to the, this Chinese place by my house. And, um, another dish called, uh, cashew nut chicken. I wanted to see if I'd be able to eat the nuts, you know. They're kind of softer when they're cooked that way, so. I had, like, a couple cashews from it. Maybe a couple, like, little pieces of chicken. That was it. I was done. I didn't like it. I threw it away. The salad, I loved. And I want to get it again, but I'm trying very hard to resist the urge. Um, it's just lettuce, um, sliced, really finely sliced, um, carrots, and then it has pieces of chicken that unfortunately are breaded. I thought of calling the restaurant and seeing if they could do just grilled chicken in it, but even with that, whatever the sauce is, it's sweet, and I have a feeling it has a lot of calories. Um, I'm guessing it's some sort of, um, peanut oil, rice, wine, vinegar type concoction. I'm not exactly sure what's in it, but that's kind of what it tastes like. It has like a sugary type of taste almost. Um, and that, you know, I, I had, you know, a small portion. The problem was it was so good. I kept going back for more like every hour. And before I knew it, when I went to bed, the box was like almost empty. And you know, it's a regular Chinese, you know, those square takeout box things. So that wasn't good. Um, I went to the zoo and to Chinatown with um, my friend like a week and a half ago. And I was fine at the zoo, just walking around with my water, and then we went to have dinner at Chinatown and we're sitting at this Chinese restaurant there and I'm like, there's nothing I can order. And this was before I did the salad and the chicken, and I'm like, there's nothing here I can order. Well, my friend's idea was to order um, honey walnut prawns without the breading on the prawns, which was a good idea, and it tasted really good. That was before I started getting sick from shrimp. Um, but same thing, the sauce on it, really rich, probably not the best idea. So that, kettle corn, burritos, I mean, it has not been good. Plus, like, the last two weeks, I haven't been tracking my food. Like, I still wear, I'm charging it right now, I still wear my Fitbit, and I still track how far I walk, you know, how many miles and all that. But I have not been keeping up on putting in the food that I eat on my Fitbit app on my phone. Um, which I think is a big part of it, because when I think of it now, like, I've easily been going over a thousand calories. Like, maybe even more than that. Like, I don't even want to know what I ate some of those days. 
And again, it wasn't that I was eating a lot because I physically can't eat a lot. It's just there were so many calories in what I was eating. It was ridiculous. So, needless today, I just clean out my fridge. Um, I'm going to go to the grocery store later. I'm just kind of going to go back to basics. Greek yogurt, grilled chicken. Um, I'm going to make a dish that I used to make with um, ground turkey, meatballs, uh, tomato sauce, and spaghetti squash. Kind of an imitation spaghetti. I'm going to make that tonight for dinner. Um, so, like, on the one hand, like, I feel like I'm trying, I'm starting to get more positive and I'm starting to get back on track, but I still have that thing in the back of my head that's just, like, beating me down and draining me emotionally and mentally. Like, God, you're only six weeks out. You've only lost 27 pounds, you know. You haven't gotten your ass in gear exercising yet, even though you're going to. Look at how much time you've wasted. Like, it's like this separate person behind me just keeps beating me over the head, and it's exhausting. And I don't know how to stop myself from beating myself up about it. <laughs> so, I don't know if you guys struggle with that, but I'm having struggles with that. And I'd like it if I could just, you know, kind of forget what, like, not forget what happened, but, like, accept it move on, be positive, and, you know, just go up from here. Up with the positivity, down with the scale. <laughs> um, yeah, because I do want to get at least a couple pounds off before next weekend, before I go to this bridal shower. That would at least be nice. At least I'd feel like I was starting to lose weight again. So, um, I'm not going to do a body shot right now. I'm not just for it. I'm still in my PGs. Um, but I promise I'll prepare for that um, by my next update, which will be Wednesday or Thursday next week. Um, I may make another video by then, I'm not sure. If you guys have any tips for getting motivated, um, for exercising, um, like I said, I'm going to be doing Zumba classes. Those are always really fun for me. Um, if the weather gets a little better, I want to start riding my bike. Um, like I said, using my treadmill. Um, yeah, any tips you guys have just for kind of stopping, you know, that person in your head that tells you how much you've messed up and how much you're not going to succeed, like, how do you shut them up? Because <laughs> I really need mine to shut up and just let me do my thing. So, yeah, that's all I have to say, and... Hope you guys are doing good, and I will talk to you later. Bye.